Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member. Uh, as you've reminded us in your testimony about the history, in 2008, we worked to cut out the middleman in our student mm -hmm. loans by making the transition from the Federal Family Education Loan Program uh, to direct lending. I was a member of the House of Representatives at the time of that uh, vote and was proud to support mm -hmm. the change that resulted in cutting out over $60 billion of waste. Um, I think it was an important step, but certainly work remains, as we've just heard. Recently, uh, in a meeting with uh, student financial aid administrators from my state, uh, Wisconsin, um, they shared uh, an odd quirk of the student loan uh, origination fee that, for many reasons, seems like it should be a relic from the days of the Federal Family Education Loan Program. Um, the fee is usually paid from the loan amount, uh, resulting in a slightly reduced loan for the student. Um, but additionally, uh, it places a burden on financial aid administrators who have to uh, explain why there is this fee in the first place. Um, and it feeds in that perception uh, that the government is making a lot of money off of these loans. So now that the federal government is in the business of direct lending, is this fee still necessary? And can the Department of Education and the loan servicers function properly without this fee? Um, yeah, no, the fee is a part of the structure that we have. And you're right, that is taken out of the loan amount that is distributed to the student. Uh, in terms of what that would mean from a cost structure perspective, uh, I don't you know, I don't believe that it would have, I mean, we could, we could still operate and we could still conduct the loan program without that. In terms of other considerations, uh, statutory and otherwise, you know, I, I can't speak to that, but um, you're right, there is that fee and it uh, results in, it's a very small fee on a per borrower basis, but when you aggregate it together, it's a meaningful amount. Um. I appreciated hearing in your testimony that the Department of Education has worked with loan servicers to streamline the process for those needing to discharge their loans due to total and permanent disability. Um, I understand that discharging loans due to total and permanent disability still remains cumbersome for many. Um, I have been working for some time on a student borrower's bill of rights uh, bill, mm -hmm. and uh, it includes the right to discharge a loan due to total and permanent disability, as well as avoid the current um, tax penalty that um, those who are able to discharge um, face. I want to know if there are further steps that the Department of Education can take to make the process of loan discharge um, in the result of, uh, in the event of total uh, disability or death, mm. easier for students and families. And are there currently any incentives in place um, for the servicers mm. to expeditiously serve those students and families, or could you create some? Yeah. No, we, uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, clearly a, a, a major concern and a, and a big issue that we've been focused on. Um, we have streamlined the process. Um, you know, we have one, before we'd have many different servicers, now we have one servicer, so there's a, the ability to sort of have quality control around that, that experience. Um, you know, we've now used, we now use the SSA and the veterans uh, determination for disability, so um, the vagueness around, you know, what total and permanent disability is, that's been, been addressed. Um, and so, um, you know, we've, I think we've, we've, we've improved the process, but there's probably still work to be done. And it sounds like, um, you know, the, the issue around the, um, you know, the tax at the end of the forgiveness, that's something that um, has been discussed a lot. And I know people are looking at that. That is, um, we can operation, operationalize that pretty easy if that comes to fruition. Um, but uh, we have made some significant improvements and we're, looking for additional ideas in terms of how we can further improve the uh, total and permanent disability process. Thank you. Yeah.